Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're going to look at the metagame for Standard. With the Standard Qualifier Weekend coming up this weekend, I figured it'd be a good time to see what decks are popular, what decks are winning. What we're going to do is we're going to be looking mostly at Magic Online. We're going to be looking at 5-0s of Leagues, and we're going to be looking at Top 32s of Challenges. And the winner's metagame that exists among that, and then the Top 8 metagame, and sort of compare the two. And we're going to talk about each one of the decks involved in, in this winner's metagame. Let's jump into it. In standard, as you probably know in watching this video, Grixis Midrange is the most popular deck by a giant margin, followed by Selesnya Poison, and then Mono White Midrange and Esper Midrange. So Grixis Midrange is a one-for-one -one deck where all the creatures in the deck do things just a little bit more than just being efficient creatures. Some get you extra cards, some can kill things, some like give you some card selection. Um, and then they try to one for one with either counter magic or removal spells. And the deck is just extremely efficient at what it does, especially for a standard deck and and grinds with every other deck. Red black midrange decks have been the best decks in standard straight along. And while this is not as powerful as like Miku Massacre Red Black, it is totally dominant as far as popularity goes. But we'll see when we get to top eight metagames. The Selesnya Poison deck is a relatively new archetype. Um, it uses the toxic, it uses the toxic mechanic to try to deal as much poison to the opponent as possible, while protecting with things like pump spells and Screlve, while also playing the pseudo bitter blossom that makes things with toxic. I think what makes this deck really good is that it can kill very quickly, but also it can like grind with the Grixis midrange deck by just making an obscene amount of tokens that Grixis can't one for one with. The mono white midrange deck has also been around for a while. Mono white midrange focuses on efficient creatures that replace themselves, um, as well as extremely efficient removal in white. Now this deck is looking to grind with Grixis, having a really similar strategy, but I think the power level of the cards is a little bit higher in mono white, while the consistency of Grixis is a little bit higher. And then Esper Midrange. Esper Midrange has also been around. It was, it was a kind of a part of the Black Midrange Wars uh, pre-Brothers War. But Esper Midrange plays uh, a lot of uh, legends, focuses on counter magic, and just like really, really good creatures that, again, similar to Grixis, do a little bit more than just being efficient creatures. This deck plays out really similar to Grixis, except relies on the creatures just a little bit more because the creatures are just so, so powerful. So if we turn our attention to the top eight metagame, it looks a little bit different. Esper Midrange is the most popular deck by a giant margin among top eights. So it's possible we're seeing a shift in the best decks moving towards Esper instead of Grixis. It also could be a fluke. It could be that the, the better players are playing Esper. It could be that Esper ran hot this weekend. But Esper's double the number of decks in top eight than Grixis. In second, it's followed closely by Grixis midrange, Selesnya Poison, and then, and then Mono White midrange. So we see that the top four most popular decks in top eight are also the most popular decks. So it's probable that these four decks are the four options if you're looking to win tournaments in standard. But it's really exciting seeing a standard metagame where you don't just have to play midrange. Like having the Selesnya Poison deck as one of the top decks is really exciting to me. And I'm really excited to try it out. In any case, if you liked this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social media. Links are above me and in the description. And you can come back for more weekly metagame analysis for all these different formats of competitive magic. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.